family, how you guys all doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to Renovating McJuggernuggets uh, Basement, episode like six or seven. I've kind of lost like count at this point. But uh, yeah, so much has already changed since the last video. And don't worry, we're gonna be doing some of that stuff in two days of vlog. And uh, before we get forward or move forward with the vlog, if you guys are not yet subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, and drop a like on this video. I'd highly appreciate it. And also, um, follow me on Snapchat, at Saxer1, S-A-X-E-R, one the number one itself and uh, watch some of the spotlight videos I've been doing because it's been pretty cool But I do want to let you guys know that we have made some progress like I was saying before from the last video We've ran electrical well Nick ran electrical and we've also done some insulation Which I'm gonna attempt to put up some today by myself. I learned a little bit last night and um, I finally started getting a flow by the time it was like done to be done for the night so I'm gonna show you guys what has changed what's going on and then we're gonna attempt to hang some insulation uh, together well mainly me and you guys are gonna just watch me probably epically fail but you guys are gonna love the changes that have happened okay you guys are ready in three two one ah uh, let's start over on this side which is my bedroom as you guys can tell this is now double insulated like it was being talked about to kind of soundproof the movie theater from my room here so then you know it's not too loud and i think i might get some soundproofing to hang up in there just to kind of echo like or not echo but keep the sound more in the movie theater itself versus this room so as you can see it's basically already insulated all around all the way up to here uh and then nick actually ran some electric as you can tell everything's ran insulations kind of just put in ready to go electrical boxes are in and then if you come over here you see electrical 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 boom perfect and then more outlets i told nick i was like yo i need like 20 outlets in this room because i'm the kind of person that when you have a desk set up i like to have a big awesome setup and also who who needs a lot of outlets? I know I do because uh, I feel like every time you guys might be able to relate to this Wherever you go in a room, you're like dang it. I need an outlet to charge my phone or dang it I need an outlet to plug something in don't worry you look right here where the desk is gonna be So the plan is to eventually have a TV hung up right here. So we got an outlet box right there And then uh, you come down here. We got two four uh, box outlet boxes placed right here. So then basically what will happen is as I am streaming or whatever and my desk is set up Everything can be plugged in right here and then at the same time. I only probably will end up needing I'm thinking one uh, Extension box or whatever it's called that you normally would use like like on my actual setup at my parents house I have like 20 or well three or four uh, extension boxes or whatever they're called put right there and uh, you know the wire mess is crazy, but the setup here the wiring for my setup is going to be nice and easy Because everything's gonna be located right there We're trying to keep everything to a minimum and Nick did an amazing job with that So let me go show you the other room that is currently done um, And kind of just show everything going on so as you come down the hallway over here You can see that uh, you come in here light switch will be right over here you flip this on you got some insulation in right there. Uh, this room isn't done being insulated just yet. Only this wall for that side. Um, and that's because Nick's got to finish running all the electrical in here. As you can tell, there's an outlet there, outlet there, outlet there, outlet there, and an outlet there. And I think one uh, four box over there. So then somebody, whoever ends up having this room, right, can end up putting their desk set up right here. So as soon as they walk into the room, Boom, setup done, completed, good for them. Um, so yeah, a desk setup could go there, probably like an L-shaped desk, they could probably custom build. And then you come over here, where this little uh, appliance room is, got a light switch getting installed right here, I know that's gonna get cut out. And um, yeah, this is the little appliance room, and it's coming along pretty nice. Um, I do have to give a lot of credit to Nick, because Nick, has been doing some good work in here and I did help with some of this insulation which I'll show you guys that room it's basically almost ready for sheetrock which is absolutely crazy to think that like we're closing in on the process of starting the sheetrock and uh, yeah let's just check that room out now alright here we go as you can tell insulation right there 
Um, that little spot needs to get filled. That will eventually get filled. This here is good. And then boom, that needs to get filled. But last night, we kind of uh, banged out this whole entire wall. As you guys saw, the pink uh, fiberglass of the installation on that side. And you can tell what it looks like on this side of the room as well. It really doesn't matter. Um, well, I guess it does kind of matter. But like, uh, what way it shows between these two walls because the idea is to because these walls are, would be so thin that the idea to have Insulation between both these rooms and then even right there in the hallway is actually to help prevent noise traveling through rooms You know because I'm a streamer. I'll be streaming over there Whoever has this room could be streaming whoever has that room could be streaming So it's all like set up to kind of prevent from people uh, Sound from traveling from room to room. So it's a nice little barrier um, as you can tell as well Nick ran electrical in here over here as well all that's done and then all this isn't done yet uh, The wiring's ran but we were told well I was told by Nick not to put any insulation here just yet Due to the fact that he's still got to do something with the electricity and honestly I have no clue how to do any of that. I am not an electrician. I know you're allowed to do like your own electricity work uh, in your own home. So Nick, I probably watched a few YouTube tutorials. That would be my guess. Um, and by the end of this, Nick will probably be a full tradesman electrician. Not really, but at least he knows what he's doing because... Honestly guys, I have absolutely no clue whatsoever, but I'm going to actually see, more likely I could probably hang some sheetrock up on this, or not sheetrock, some insulation up on this wall. I'm more than certain this wall is done. Um, I know this little section here still doesn't need it, um, but the thing is, I absolutely hate trying to cut this insulation, so let me, uh, let me figure some of this out and I'll pick the camera back up. Guys, look who I'm finally with, and wow, the light actually, how did you turn the light on for over here? I fixed it. Did you? Yeah. Well, what are you doing? I'm drilling. What are you drilling? Obviously a hole, but do you want to explain to them what you're doing? I a mom joke, but I thought it would be inappropriate. Yeah. Guys, it's Nick for Genesis. He's kind of killed it with this whole entire project, so make sure you subscribe to him. But uh, what are you doing? Running electricity still? Yep. We're almost done. Almost? Almost, but not really in a way, I guess. Is that how it works? Yeah. Does that mean we have to, uh, once you're done with electricity, we can finish this room, right? In terms of insulation? Uh, or yeah. So we'll be able to insulate. And then, so the, the best trick I learned from doing electric is you always want to run it next to water. Wait, always run it next to yeah, water? So if it catches on fire, the water will put it out. Ah, oh, that's actually genius. You know what they say, you put the wet stuff on the red stuff, Nick. You are very smart. I know, I like that from you. Oh, uh, put the wet stuff on the red stuff? Yep. Ah, nice. Hey, uh, the quick question is, am I good to actually start insulating that wall right there? Yeah. Like the hallway between... You might as well time lapse it. You think? Oh. I don't know, I'm horrible at time lapse. But I'll, I'll give that a shot, or I'll just watch what you're doing. Are you certified for this? Um... Yes, right? Yeah, sure. Nick the Builder, can you fix it? Yes, you can. I'm just cutting wire, dude. That does not sound like fun. Anyways, I'll let Nick uh, do what he's gotta do there. I'm gonna... Jesus, I look back and things are falling. I'm gonna start putting some insulation up on this wall and get things moving. So you guys will see that. As you can see, I started insulating more and more of my room. Left that little gap, gonna let somebody that's able to cut like the smaller pieces to fill that in. But Nick, what you doing right here? Labeling wires. So what's what's that mean? Like obviously I know what labeling wires is, but like could you explain? You need to make sure you label them because if you don't and you got to do the electric, you're gonna be like, what the? F what is going on afterwards? Where is what goes where? You know what I mean? So that's what Nick's currently doing. He's trying to label everything. So I guess like light switch, outlet, yeah. etc. Damn, guys, so much progress is being made within like the last I don't know what would you say week. A lot of progress has been made. A lot of this has been done in the last week. Like, we went from, I think, December or January of just starting the process of slowly framing. And now we're, like, in hyperspeed building everything out, which actually I kind of like. Um, so we're doing this where wherever it's wired, you can throw the insulation on as long as Nick is good there. And uh, as you can tell, I need to kind of actually re-fluff 
that fluff back in but don't worry once the drywall is in that won't be much of an issue at all so this piece right here i actually have to finish stapling in i had no clue how to do any insulation until last night when nick kind of taught me so see these little flabby things that come off of the pink stuff the insulation itself you just take that pull it tight staple come down a few and then do the same on this side right here and then basically get it down so where you just gotta keep pulling it out and then once I get to the bottom cut that little piece and that little piece will be good where you just gotta kind of stuff it in like some stuffing so yeah we're gonna have a lot of that but how do you say uh, my work has been so far Nick let me guess I asked I mean, you it looks and, good and I'm out of staples so I gotta fill this back up but yeah this is uh coming along pretty cool I'm having fun I know Nick's having fun and I guess you can say that yeah I mean, well, the fact, like, when it comes to the hallway, you literally planned this, like, the correct size. Because what were you thinking initially, right? It was going to be smaller, for, so you could have more room in your room. But, yeah. You know, I sacrificed your room space a little bit because I was like, let me do it, like, what the preferred hallway size is. And also, if we're moving in furniture, we need to be able to turn. And, yeah. And move everything back and forth. So, like... Now that we have the frames up and some of the insulation in, it does feel kind of roomy. I know once the uh, sheetrock is in, it might feel a little bit smaller, but like, hey, it is what it is. We're making progress and uh, more electrical work is being done. Nick actually had a great idea. I don't know if we're gonna do it, but where we put an on-air sign right there for when I'm streaming. So a sign goes on there and then maybe a switch right here to where I could just flip a switch on and then stream. Which is kind of a cool idea. It's something to think about. But what I need to do is finish putting that piece of insulation in. Cut it. And then continue along down to here. I think honestly, probably come up to here. I don't know exactly how far Nick is along here. I see wires ran. But I don't know if everything is fully connected just yet. Alright, update. As you can see, this wall is basically finally done. Except for that little section. I can't see you, Nick. I can hear you. Talking about. As I can see. Oh wait, I can see you through this little angle right here. That's about it. But all of this basically is done except for that little section and then same right here. I don't want to mess up cutting all of the good insulation. So I'll let somebody like Nick that's good at cutting cut it in half and then I'll just go up and put it all up there. No, no, no. I'm saying because then you just cut it and I'll just go and install it. Just so then, uh, jeez, Nick. Anyways, this whole entire wall where my setup's gonna be is done. It's actually kind of cool. Now you can picture even more the desk setup, the wiring, all that. There's this one little section as well that now needs to get done. done. You gotta start paying rent, bro. Wait, you've been here helping? Yeah. I haven't seen I've you. I've been in this entire other room that you neglected to realize is here. Yo, rent, seriously. Now that this is done, pay time. Dude, I have no money. What do you mean I can't charge him rent, Nick? You're next. Yeah, the room's pretty much done. If you have enclosed barriers, it's a room. But I literally closed. have no money Does whatsoever. That look like my issues with? Are you not living here? I mean, yes and yeah, but like, dude, like my views are down, ad rev is down, and literally I have no, no money whatsoever. Yeah! Ugh! Dude, that stuff's toxic. I know. Why are you wearing a mask? You literally should have like five. Does it look masks. like I wear a mask? Bro, you better bend I only do. I only do when I'm out in public. But like, I'm inside. What? What's this gonna do? Give me cancer? We're literally just working on this. You decided to pull Jesse Ridgeway and start filming, dude. Yeah. Come on, you gotta finish this. All I, right. I'm just building everyone's rooms. No. No. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Episode one through six has kind of been just me and Nick. Episode one through six, bro. Yeah. That, there's that, there's ended, been like six episodes. It ended with episode six. This is episode one of you living here and paying rent. <laughs> you think that's funny, Nick? Yeah, dude. I hope Uncle you charge Jesse, him like bro, twenty thousand. No. Uncle who? Somebody? One of the uncles yeah, so cut it. Cut it, cut it, it out. <laughs> oh Jesus! Hey, cut and, it, it out. Anyways, now when you stand in the hallway, it looks like a hallway. So that's What's that, what show is that from? Swift? It's like from some from Nickelodeon. Full uh, house, bro. Which is what this is about to be, especially when you got full money. So like renta, like because I'm broke. Like how am I? Like how much? I mean, how much? Like, how much is rent here? It's non-negotiable. It's going to be a G a month. Bro, I don't even make a G a month from One YouTube G. anymore. One G. I don't... You smell it? Not 5G? Not 4G? I'm still trying to wait on money from Snapchat, but, like, that's never even you coming. You can't make money off Snapchat. Don't lie. What? Have you not... Nobody's paying you. Nobody's paying you. That's a pipe dream, bro. Snapchat? Snapchat's going to randomly give you money? I mean... If you just won the lottery? Come I on, I mean, dude. if they do, like, I could pay rent, but, like... 
Can you just give me some time so like I can get You're some content? You're wearing a druggy shirt, not with that. Sh I don't. I don't have a regular druggy shirt. I outgrew oh. them. You outgrew them. What? I got fat. You I got have that bigger. I, I usually wear my Virgin R shirt. Oh, I thought you were dieting. I kind of am. I need to just go over here. Anyways, yeah, guys, go I've been that cotton candy. guys. I've been working out. It's not cotton candy. It's insulation, which is right. bad for you. I should have been wearing. Anyways, guys, uh, there's a little update today on the um, the progress here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button. We're almost, we're almost there. Uh, I think next update we should be putting down sheetrock, which will be fun. Um, and I've never done that either, so that's going to be interesting. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Renovating McJarger Nuggets Basement. Um, episode 7, not paying rent because I can't afford it yet. Um, thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.